Hey our friends, yesterday we drew Odie from Garfield, so today we're gonna draw Garfield. Garfield. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You got a marker and, and some, some papers. Some papers. You ready to start? Yes. Let's start by drawing his nose in the middle of our paper but towards the top so that we have room for his body and his feet. And we're gonna draw an oval about this size. Then we're gonna draw a line straight up from from his nose. This is for the middle of his eyes. Then we're gonna draw the right eye. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out and around. Watch this, it's like an egg shape. And at the bottom, it's a little wider than it is at the top. Yeah, and we connect it to the side of his nose. Then we're gonna repeat that same shape on the left side. An egg shape that comes around and back in. Now you want these to be about the same size. My left eye is a little smaller, but that's okay. We're practicing, right? Yeah. Now we're going to draw a curve. He always has his eyelids low. He, he looks like he's upset at something always. <laughs> so we're going to draw a curve that goes all the way across both eyes. Then we're going to draw his pupils and their little curves underneath his eyelid on both sides. And we're going to draw them close to the middle of his eyes. Then let's color in the eyes. Next, we're gonna draw his mouth. We're gonna draw an upside down V. It goes up, connects to his nose, and then back down. Then we're gonna draw his cheeks, and we're gonna draw a curve, a C shape, comes out from the middle of his eye, curves around, and almost connects to the bottom of his mouth. Then we're gonna repeat that same shape, that same line, except flipped on the right side. Now at the bottom of each cheek, we're gonna draw a little wrinkle. So another smaller curve at the very end. And then let's draw three dots on each cheek. And this is for where his whiskers come out of his cheeks. But they don't come out of his cheeks. Yeah, his whiskers, they come, they come out close to his ears. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right, we're gonna draw his ears next and then we're gonna draw his head. And his whiskers. And his whiskers, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna start right here in the middle of his eyes and we're gonna draw a line that comes out and then curves back in and connects to the top of his eye. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, repeat that same shape. Good, now we're gonna draw the inside. Bunny. Yeah, it kinda looks like a bunny. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna draw the outside of his ears. It's gonna come down from the top of the left ear. And it's like a curved V. And then we're gonna curve back up and connect to the top of his right ear. Cool. Now let's draw the outside shape of his head. This is a cool shape because it makes him look chubby. We're gonna draw <laughs> a line that comes out of his ear right here. And we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then curves back in and gets really close to the bottom of his cheek. Now we're gonna repeat that same shape on the other side. Whoa. He got really chubby on this yeah. side. <laughs> I like it. It's okay, we're practicing. So now we're gonna draw his whiskers coming out and it's three whiskers coming out of the top of his head. So there's one, they look like raindrops. And then we're gonna draw another one right next to it and a third one. And then we can color these shapes in. Now we're gonna repeat those same whiskers on the left side, little raindrop shape comes out in and we're gonna draw three of them and then color them in and what can our art friends do if we ever go too fast or we fast forward the video pause the video yeah you guys can always pause the video if you need extra time to complete a step now let's draw the rest of his body we're gonna draw a curve right here for his neck and then we're gonna draw a wrinkle under that curve and we're gonna draw a wrinkle over here on the right side too <laughs> Eating too much lasagna. Yeah, way too much lasagna. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna draw his arm and his hand. So we'll start right here underneath his neck. We're gonna draw a line, short line that comes down. Next, at the bottom of this line, we're gonna curve down for his hand and back in. That's for his first finger. And we're gonna draw the next finger. We're gonna draw, looks like a backwards J. Then we're gonna draw a sideways U for his third finger. Cool. Now right above this, we're gonna draw an upside down J. 
And then we're going to draw a line that comes back up for the right side of his arm. <laughs> now on each side we're going to draw two more wrinkles. I like these chubby little wrinkles on his arm and then also on his neck and right here on his cheeks. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. And we drew his arm first because it's in front of his body. Let's draw his body next. We're going to start right here on his cheek. We're going to draw his big belly. It's going to come out and around and connect to his hand. And he's really chubby. Let's draw the chub on his back. We're going to draw a small little wrinkle on his back. And then we're going to draw a bigger wrinkle, a bigger chub coming back. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we finished his head, we got his body. What are we missing? Uh, his feet. Yeah, his legs and his feet. All right, we're going to start by drawing a line that comes down from his hand. Then we're, I'm going to draw it a little longer. And we're going to draw those wrinkles again. We're going to draw one wrinkle down at the bottom. Then we're going to draw his big foot. It's going to come out and curve down. Good. Now we're going to draw another curve, looks like a backwards J, just like we did on his hand. And then we're going to draw a U shape right next to that one. Now next to it we draw one more U, a smaller one, and it's a lot like his hand. It looks like his hand's just tipped. Yeah. Next let's come back up here to his hand. We're going to draw the back of his leg. It's going to come down. And then right at the end we're going to curve out for his heel. And then draw the bottom of his foot and connect to his toes. You did a great job on drawing his first foot. Now we huge need a, foot. His huge foot. Now we need to draw his other leg and his other foot. Let's draw the first line. We're going to draw the front line first. We're going to draw. It's going to come down. And we're going to stop before we get to his foot. Then we're going to draw a little wrinkle. We're going to repeat the same steps. Then we're going to draw a big curve. Comes out in front and starts curving down for his first toe. Then we're going to draw that second toe backwards J. What's the next step? Uh, another J. Another J or a or U, U shape. U. Yep, and we'll connect that into his foot. Now we need to come back up here and we're going to draw the back of his leg and we're going to draw a line that comes down and then curves back just like we did over here for his heel. What's he missing? His tail. Yeah, he's missing his tail. We're going to draw a curve that comes out of his hand and right at the bottom starts curving out. Then we're going to draw another chubby wrinkle. Chubby wrinkle. <laughs> and then we're going to draw a big backwards C for the end of his tail. So we're going to come out, curve around, and then back into his foot. We did it, Jack. We finished drawing Garfield, except we're missing one of the most important things. The stripes. The stripes. Yeah, these are really fun to add. Now we're going to start on each side of his cheek, he has four stripes, okay? So we're going to draw four on this side and four over here. And we're going to start with a really long stripe. And we just go back and forth. And we're going to draw a shorter one and then a really small one for the end. Now we're going to drop down here and we're going to draw another stripe, smaller, and then really small. So there's three lines on each stripe. Come down. Repeat that same step, and then we're going to do one last one down here, the bottom of his cheek. Cool. All right, now the, we're going to fast forward this next part, but we're going to repeat and draw four stripes on his left cheek. Next, we're going to add stripes to his back. We're going to draw one stripe. Now, this time we're going to add four lines, okay, if we can fit them in. So one, two, three, four. And they get smaller as you do each one. Now we're going to add three more down here on the larger part of his back. So we're going to add one, two, three, four. And I'm going to do another one. One, two, three, four. And then we got one last one down here and maybe you can only fit three little stripes. Now let's add the stripes to his tail. We're going to add just the three, so a large one, medium, and small. And we're going to do another one. And one last one on the down part of his tail. 
Then we're going to add one on this part. On the tip of his ears and also the tip of his tail, we're going to draw the stripes differently. So we're going to add four stripes that come down. One, two, three, and four. And they come out of the, the top of his ear. And we're going to repeat that same design or detail over here on his right ear. On the tip of his tail, he has a lot of those, and we don't need to keep track, but we're just going to add a lot of skinny ones. And on the top of his tail, I'm curving them so that they match the outside. And as I get to the middle of his tail, they're going to be straight. There we go. There's those stripes. And then after we get to the middle, I'm going to curve them down so they match the bottom of his tail. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you think he looks a lot more like Garfield? Yes. Okay. We're going to do one last thing with our marker. We're going to add a curve right here. This is for the shadow on his leg. And we're going to color the top part. That makes it look more 3D. Then we're going to add a shadow on his tail also. So I drew a curve. And then we're going to color above it. And we did it, dude. We finished drawing Garfield. He looks really cool. Yeah. Except he's going to look a lot better when he's what color? Orange. Orange. <laughs> this is going to take a little while to color his whole body orange, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Yeah. Jack, you did awesome on coloring Garfield. My hands are sore. That was a lot of orange. Same. Yeah, you can stretch them out if you need to. <laughs> you can also pause the video right now to match the same coloring, to, although it's just orange. Yeah. And pink for his nose and yellow for his cheeks. cheeks. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Garfields. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and it's okay if your drawings don't look exactly like ours. We say it all the time, and it's because we mean it. What's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and, and to, to practice. Practice. I promise the second time you draw Garfield, it'll turn out better than the first time. Yeah. And also remember to check out our Odie lesson. That was a lot of fun. You could draw them together. Yes. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.